Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add mosaic or blur to a moving object in Filmora 10 with a few click. Yes, just a few click. All right, so let's go to my computer screen. Okay, so here I am inside Filmora, and uh, I have a footage uh, here. Uh, we have some uh, some men and a woman here sitting here, and we have a moving object. Uh, we is the yellow guy here. Uh, so let's play the video. So you can see here he's talking about something, and his face is moving. And now uh, I want to add a blur or a mosaic effect to his face. Okay, so it is very easy. The first thing I want to select the clip on the timeline and then I'm going to use the motion tracking feature in Filmora 10. So it is very easy. Select the clip and then you can click this button, the motion tracking feature. Okay. And now we have the motion tracking uh, feature activated uh, here. So being mentioned that you have a box here if you can click this, uh, meaning that you activate the motion tracking. If you disable it, uh, it will be uh, disappear. Okay. So just click this box to activate the motion tracking. And the next thing you want to adjust the tracking point to hit face okay this is a tracking point so we can click here and resize the box uh, this box and also trying to recenter uh, the tracking point to his nose okay and we can just make it a little bit smaller right this position and the next thing we, uh, we can click this button to start tracking okay and we can wait a few moments for the program to track his face. Alright, so the motion tracking is finished and now we can play the video to see the track if the tracking uh, point is correct or not. Okay, just play it and I think it's perfect. So the next thing we want to select the clip again and then we can click this drop down menu. And we have some option here, but add a mosaic, uh, meaning that you, you can blur his face. Okay, so we can select add a mosaic. And you can see on the timeline, we have a, a new mosaic effect here on top of the video. Okay, and we can click add the mosaic on the preview window and adjust it. For example, I can adjust the size to his face. Like this. Okay. And the next thing you can see on the on the left side, you can adjust the mosaic type by clicking this menu and you can select other type here. For example, I can select this type and also I can adjust the blur amount, maybe 50%, 20%, 40% or 100%. It's all up to you. Okay, for me, I think about 50% is okay. And we can also adjust the opacity of the blur effect also. You can use this slider to adjust the opacity of the blur effect. Okay, so just increase it to this side. Alright, so that's easy, right? So that is how to add a mosaic or blur to a moving object in Filmora 10. And let's preview the, uh, the result. Very nice, right? And being mentioned that if you don't want to use this blur effect or this mosaic, you can also replace it with a an emoji or an image or something to cover his face okay in order to do that you can just uh, delete this one delete the blur effect and go to the elements and then uh, go to the emoji folder here and maybe you can just download this one uh, and put it on the timeline and now you need to activate the motion tracking for this emoji okay just double click at the video and then select the menu again and select the animated emoji okay and then you can adjust the emoji to his face it will look like this or this maybe a little bit smaller very nice right and here's the new result okay so that's easy right so that is how to add a mosaic or blur effect to a moving object in Filmora 10 I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. If you have any more questions, just let me know in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.